Hello again, Ramen Squid subscribers. Today I have made another crane, and this time it took me 10 minutes instead of 17 and 45 seconds, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, tomorrow maybe I can do it in 7 minutes or less. I don't know, we'll see. So, anyways, Ramen Squid gave me permission to tell the story of his accident and how he got a concussion from my perspective, just to like inform you guys, and also it's kind of a crazy story, and he did uh, very cool stuff. In this story anyways so this video is going to be kind of longer because it's a long story and i have recorded this voice this this voiceover like 10 times and i keep i keep talking for too long and i keep missing the cutoff of the end of the video so this time i'm going to try to talk for a shorter amount of time anyways so we were at mammoth mountain and we were going on we were on the panorama gondola which takes you to the top of the mountain and we were going to do this run called dave's run which is um super hard to get to and nobody really goes to it so it's it's usually really fun because the snow is really good so while we were on the gondola we were watching people do jumps at the park below us there are like some crazy jumps there and they're really big and a lot of good people go there so it's really fun to watch and we were watching a bunch of people doing rails and they made it look so easy. They <laughs> they just got up on the jump, they turned sideways, and they just slid off the rail, slid on the rail into, back onto the snow. And we're like, hey, why don't we try to do that? Why don't we go to a smaller park and do not a rail, but a metal cylinder, which is like a rail, but much wider. So it's, a, it's supposed to be a lot easier to balance on. So we decided to do that. And we went to Dave's and we skied down. And it was really fun. And then we traversed all the way over to the park. And then we were all waiting at the top. And, okay, for reference, we are all, like, pretty, not to brag, but we're all pretty good skiers. Like, we can ski any terrain. We can ski anything at Mammoth, almost, except for Kiwi Flats, but who wants to ski that? That sounds terrifying. And, like, we're, like, it's not like we were noobs going to a park. We knew what we were doing. But, <laughs> to be fair, none of us are very good at park. I, personally, am awful at park, and but... The rest of us, the rest of us were pretty good. They, they had done some park before and they, I don't know, they thought it was fun. They had spent a couple of days doing it before. So anyways, we, we were all waiting at the top and our friend whose name I will not say, let's call him P as in the letter and not the other thing. He went up the jump first and he got onto the rail. He was sideways, but okay. You know, when you, how people do gainers, how they, they jump forward, but they flip backwards. That's what he did, but in falling form. He fell forward, but he... No, his skis went forward, but he went backwards. And he, he fortunately landed on his back, and he just got up and gave us a thumbs up, and we're all like, okay, nice. <laughs> and then, for some reason, uh, Raman was super brave, and after seeing that awful fall, went right after him. He started skiing, he went onto the jump, he got onto the cylinder, and he took the exact same fall. <laughs> and we were like, okay, if P was okay, then Ramen must be okay, but we were wrong. Okay, you know how, I don't know if you guys know, well, okay, I said we were pretty good skiers, so it's not that often that we fall, but when we do, it's kind of shameful for ourselves. So we lay down for a second and we're like, wow, let me just release this shame and then I will get back up so that's what that's what I at least thought that he was doing I thought that he was just laying down because he fell but then then my dad started calling his name and this other girl like tossed all of his, his skis and poles to him and he just wasn't getting up so we were like oh I didn't I mean I still didn't know that he had passed out I thought that he was just um you know laying down but anyways and then after, I feel so bad for doing this, but we were still stalling, me and my friend and my brother, because we were scared to do the cylinder, because we didn't know that Ramen was hurt. So then after like a couple minutes, we didn't do the cylinder, we did the jump on the side of it because we were too scared. And then my brother was like, hey, Tara, um, Ramen doesn't remember going on Dave's run. I think he's injured, we need to go down. And I was like, that's, I really seriously, like, that was such a long time ago. How does he not remember? And then I, I didn't, I didn't know he was being serious until like, because he had a ski mask on and his gator. I was like, there's no way he doesn't remember that. But I guess he didn't, and that was really scary because I knew that Ramen wouldn't lie about something about an injury for attention because that's just not what he does. But then, so yeah, we got down and he went to the the 
Ski Patrol, and then he got ambulance to the ER, and he's in recovery. So yeah, that was kind of a crazy story. I didn't get to tell as much as I wanted because I don't have time, even though this is a five-minute video, and I've been talking for five minutes. That's crazy. Anyways, no, my timer. Okay, anyways, here's a clip of the crane because I forgot to get a good picture of it at the end. Anyways, um, bye.